What's up YouTube? It's CB and JPENT and of course you can see you only have Joy right now because I'm going to be doing um, a pregnancy update so I don't really need uh, Corey for this part. We will be doing like couple like pregnancy stuff if you guys have questions for us but right now this is just about me and baby. So um, I'm going to do like an update for when I first found out I was pregnant until about now. So what I went through until now, right now I am 22 weeks pregnant. I was fine all the way up into like week seven and eight of being pregnant. I dealt with like a sinus issue, which I'm still dealing with my um, sinus. Now I have like a lot of sinus drainage. I don't know if anybody else has ever like dealt with that, but I really thought I was sick. and this was like from before I found out I was pregnant um I had to sign and stuff and I didn't know why like it wasn't going away and I'm like it's the middle of the summer why do I have like well not in the middle of the summer, beginning of the summer why do I have sinus drainage but anyway so once I found out I was pregnant that's what um, my doctor said sometimes that happens and I could try to take medicine and see if that would work and if not then that's probably something I would just have to deal with and it's something I'm just having to deal with the whole time but um around week 10 I would say I started dealing with um excess saliva excess saliva it was my mouth gets so it used to get so wet and you have to spit in a cup it was so bad but my mom said that she had that um while pregnant with me and I know my sister um my sister dealt with that with her pregnancies too so during week 10 I dealt with excess saliva added to my sinus drainage it was so horrible i didn't want to go anywhere i didn't want to be like around people like when corey would tell me to come to like family like over his house stuff and i did not want to be over there not because i didn't want to be around his family but because i didn't want to be around them like spitting and all this extra stuff and so i dealt with that until about a week 12 I would say because I know during Corey's uh, family reunion uh, that's what I was freaking out about being in the car and having to spit I was like oh my gosh he was like, oh, she is so nasty and he was like babe you'll be fine like don't worry about it you need to spit and just spit he's the best but anyway also at the beginning like of the pregnancy during was like week 5 through Five through nine, probably again. I cannot eat any junk food. I guess that's a good thing, though. But I cannot eat any junk food. I didn't want chips. I didn't want candy. Oh, the sound, the word chicken. Like hearing somebody say chicken, that would make me feel like I was going to puke everywhere. Like y'all don't even understand. Like now I see like people have few, uh, the food aversion thing because. I love some fried chicken. It don't matter what type of chicken. Like I love chicken. I like barbecue chicken, all types of chicken. Fried chicken, non fried chicken, or either wing things. Like thinking about eating them would make me sick. Of course, like you want to go to Wingstop. I'm like, do not say that word again. Like I didn't want to think about Wingstop. No Buffalo Wild Wings. No KFC. No any. Well, I really didn't care for KFC anyway. But I could not. Like now I can eat chicken again. But like I said, I'm in week 22. Around week. 16 or so I would say um I wanted like a bunch of hot stuff so I wanted like hot wings I wanted hot wings like every day <laughs> hot Cheetos <laughs> I always wanted hot stuff or whatever around about week 18 I would say that's when I started getting um heartburn which I still suffer from right now I get heartburn like all of the time sometimes I don't get it but it's not like how some people say oh like it's because of the food eating like if you eat this type of food hot food uh, no it randomly happens like I've ate a salad and got heartburn before or like um if I was to like bend over and get something I can feel it like a uh, heartburn or whatever so that's annoying so but so for my heartburn I drink um milk milk is my best friend for this heartburn let me tell y'all I do not usually like milk the only time I will drink milk is um in my cereal 
or a milkshake <laughs> like something like that i'm not about to just drink regular milk I don't, I don't really care for but i will drink it now just for baby or whatever and for my heartburner so i didn't want to take any like that type of medicine for um for heartburn i try to look up like natural things and milk was one of the things and milk definitely works when i get my um my heartburn. Another thing I suffered with was headaches. And that lasted like week 18, that's about week 20. So I dealt with that for a little while. Not too long, but for a little while. It felt like forever for me. And I was taking, um, the doctor told me to take Tylenol because I was trying to like be a trooper through the, um, those headaches. But my doctor was like, do not make yourself suffer. But I wouldn't take it if it was like just a little headache. But if it started like hurting bad, then I would take the Tylenol or whatever. But I haven't been dealing with any headaches um, lately, I would say. Week 20 was when we announced the pregnancy to you guys. And, excuse me, you guys. So much gas. Anyway. Um, I can't really say that. Twenty minutes later. Week 21, I should remember week 21. Um, I wanted hot, I know I called Corey for hot fries and a milkshake last week. So, <laughs> but this week I haven't noticed any um, differences. Oh, it was a while, I couldn't eat eggs at the beginning of my pregnancy either. I don't know, this has been really weird. Like, pregnancy is really weird. It's like things that people don't tell you until like you're pregnant it's like it's like a secret cult until you're a part of it and then when you tell people the stuff that's happening they're like oh yeah girl like i had that too and i'm like well girl why you ain't tell me and it's like girl i don't know i didn't even think they don't tell you about stuff but i'll tell y'all <laughs> i'm gonna tell y'all stuff that i go through but yeah, so I think that's the end. So um, we do call the baby Nugget right now because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, but after we figure out um, the sex of the baby, then we won't be calling it Nugget anymore. That's not gonna be like a permanent nickname. It's just nickname until we find out the gender. And so, say, say bye baby Nugget. Say bye, people on YouTube. I look way bigger from the front. From the side, I don't look this big, but I don't want y'all to see that I got on these Adidas pants because I was trying to be like real discreet for y'all, but um, I'm trying to look cute. But anyway, so yeah, that's the end of this video, and I will be back with the update for y'all. I've been losing my breath. I will be back with the update for week 23 and so on. So make sure you guys stay updated. Um, and yeah, so that's it. See you guys next time. <laughs> oh, my ankles. Oh, I shouldn't sit on my feet. Jesus. Oh! 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 oh.